Have you ever noticed that life feels lighter, more magical when you truly let go? When you stop trying to control everything and just breathe? Today I'm going to share something that changed my life completely, and I know it will change yours too. Close your eyes for a moment. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your breath. This simple act of being present, of letting go, this is where your power lies. Not in struggling, not in fighting, but in surrendering to the infinite intelligence within you. You see, most people live their entire lives in a state of resistance. They're constantly pushing against what is, fighting what could be, worrying about what might be. But I'm here to tell you something that might shock you. The universe isn't separate from you. It's an extension of your consciousness. Think about how you feel when you're truly happy. In those moments, you're not trying to control anything. You're simply being. This state of being, this natural flow, this is your true power. But most never realize this because they're too busy trying to make things happen. Let me share something profound with you. Every time you worry about the future, every time you stress about how something will work out, you're actually resisting the natural flow of life. You're telling the universe you don't trust it. And what you resist persists. I remember a time when I was constantly trying to control everything in my life. Every detail, every outcome. I was exhausted, frustrated, and nothing seemed to work out the way I wanted. Then I discovered something that changed everything. The power of letting go. You see, letting go isn't about giving up. It's about understanding that there's an intelligence far greater than your conscious mind at work. When you truly grasp this, something magical happens, life starts working for you instead of against you. Think about when you're falling asleep. You don't try to fall asleep, do you? You relax and allow sleep to come. This same principle applies to everything in life. The more you try to force things, the more they resist. The more you let go and trust, the more naturally things flow. Most people approach life like they're swimming upstream, constantly fighting against the current. But what if I'll tell you that everything you want is actually downstream? What if all you need to do is stop struggling and allow yourself to flow with life instead of against it? The universe operates through perfect law. Just as gravity doesn't sometimes work and sometimes doesn't, it's always working. The law of consciousness is always working too. Your only job is to align yourself with it through the art of letting go. Consider this. When you plant a seed in the ground, you don't dig it up every day to check if it's growing. You trust the process. You know that the seed contains everything that needs to become what it's meant to be. Your desires are exactly the same. Most people don't realize that they're constant checking their anxiety, their need to control. These are the very things preventing their desires from manifesting. It's like constantly digging up the seed to see if it's growing. When you truly understand the art of letting go, you'll notice something remarkable. Things start working out better than you could have planned. It's as if life itself is orchestrating events in your favor. But this can only happen when you get out of your own way. Think about breathing for a moment. You don't control each breath, do you? There's something within you that knows exactly how to breathe, how to digest food, how to make your heart beat. This same intelligence knows exactly how to bring your desires to fruition. I've observed that most people live in a state of constant tension. They're always trying to figure everything out, always trying to make things happen. But life doesn't work that way. Life unfolds naturally when you allow it to. Consider how a flower blooms. It doesn't strain or struggle. It doesn't try to force its petals open. It simply allows the process to unfold naturally. This is exactly how manifestation works, through allowing, not forcing. The secret that most miss is this, your natural state is one of ease and flow. Struggle is learned. Anxiety is learned. Trust and relaxation are your natural state just as they were when you were a small child. Most never realize that their power lies not in doing, but in being. When you're in the right state of consciousness, life moves you toward your desires automatically. You don't have to figure out how. I think about when you're in a state of complete trust. Notice how everything seems to work out effortlessly. This isn't coincidence. This is the natural result of letting go and allowing the infinite intelligence within you to work on your behalf. Your only job is to maintain 
the state of the wish fulfilled. Not through effort or strain, but through relaxed awareness. Just as you naturally accept that the sun will rise tomorrow, accept that what you desire is already yours. I've watched countless people struggle because they think they need to make things happen. But I tell you this, everything you want is already created. Your job is simply to relax into the state where it exists. Consider how easily water flows around obstacles. It doesn't fight them. It doesn't try to break them down. It simply finds another way. This is how you should move through life with fluid adaptability and trust. Most people approach manifestation like it's a battle to be won. But I tell you this, it's a garden to be tended. Plant your seed, your desire, water it with attention, and then let it grow naturally. Think about when you're deeply relaxed, perhaps just before falling asleep. In those moments, your mind isn't racing to solve problems. You're simply being. This state of relaxed awareness is where your true power lies. Most never understand that their anxiety about outcomes is actually creating resistance to those very outcomes. It's like trying to drive with one foot on the gas and one on the brake. Release the brake of worry and watch how naturally things begin to flow. I've witnessed remarkable transformations when people finally grasp this truth, that their only job is to maintain the feeling of the wish fulfilled, not through effort or strain, but through relaxed, natural knowing. Consider how effortlessly your heart beats, how naturally your lungs breathe, how perfectly your body maintains its temperature. This same intelligence knows exactly how to bring your desires into reality. Trust it. The secret that transforms lives is this. Your external world must conform to your internal state. But this doesn't happen through force. It happens through surrender, through letting go of the how and trusting in the perfect law. Think about times when things worked out perfectly without your intervention. Remember that feeling of pleasant surprise? That's what happens when you get out of your own way and allow life to work for you. Most people live in a state of constant mental chatter, always trying to figure everything out. But I tell you this, your intellectual mind is not equipped to orchestrate the infinite details required to manifest your desires. Let go and trust. Consider how naturally a river flows to the ocean. It doesn't stress about the path it doesn't worry about obstacles. It simply flows knowing it will reach its destination. This is how you should live in complete trust of the process. Your power lies in your ability to feel the reality of your desire now while completely letting go of how it will manifest. The how is not your concern. Your only concern is maintaining the state of having already received. I've observed that those who manifest most easily are those who understand that letting go isn't giving up. It's surrendering to a higher intelligence that knows far better than their conscious mind how to bring about their desires. Think about when you're truly in the flow of something you love. Time disappears, worry vanishes, and everything seems to happen perfectly. This state of flow is your natural state. The more you trust, the more you experience it. Most never realize that their power lies in their ability to be still. Not a physical stillness, but a mental stillness. When your mind is still, when you're truly at peace with where you are, that's when magic happens. Consider how a seed becomes a tree. It doesn't happen through force or struggle. It happens through a natural unfolding, a perfect sequence of events that the seed doesn't need to control or understand. Think about how naturally you trust that night will turn to day. You don't lie awake wondering if the sun will rise. This same level of natural trust must be applied to everything you desire. It's not blind faith. It's understanding the law. Most people live in a state of constant seeking, always looking for their desire to manifest. But this very state of seeking implies that what you want is absent. The secret is to live as if you already have what you desire. I've watched people struggle for years because they keep trying to control the process. But when they finally let go, when they truly surrender to the perfect law within them, everything begins to shift effortlessly. Consider how easily you accept your own reflection in a mirror. There's no doubt, no questioning. This same level of natural acceptance must be applied to your desired state. Feel it as real as your reflection. 
The secret that changes everything is this. Your consciousness is the only reality. Everything else is an effect, a shadow of your state. But most people spend their lives trying to change the shadow instead of changing the state that cast it. Think about when you're completely absorbed in something you love. You are not trying to make anything happen. You're simply being. This state of pure being, free from anxiety and effort, is where true creation occurs. Most never realize that their power lies in their ability to be still and know. Not intellectual knowing, but a deep, unshakable knowing that transcends logic and external evidence. Consider how naturally water takes the shape of its container. Your consciousness is like water. It takes the shape of whatever state you pour it into. Choose your state wisely, for I will manifest in your world. Your external reality is nothing more than your internal state pushed out. But this doesn't mean you need to force changes. It means you need to relax into the state where what you desire already exists. I've observed that those who manifest most easily are those who understand that letting go isn't a passive state. It's an active trust in the perfect law. They know that what they desire is already theirs in consciousness. Think about how you feel when you're completely at peace. There's no struggle, no effort, no trying to make things happen. This state of peace is actually your most powerful creative state. Most people approach their desires like they're reaching for something far away. But I tell you this, your desire isn't out there somewhere. It's a state of consciousness that you must occupy now. Consider how naturally you accept that spring follows winter. You don't worry about it. You don't try to make it happen. This same natural acceptance must be applied to the fulfillment of your desires. Think about the feeling of complete certainty you have about simple facts, like knowing your own name, that same level of certainty, that same absence of doubt must be applied to your desires, not through force, but through understanding. Most people live in constant anticipation, always waiting for their desire to manifest. But this state of waiting keeps pushing the manifestation into an endless future. The secret is to live as if it's already done. I've witnessed the most remarkable transformations when people finally grasp that their power lies not in doing, but in being. When they stop trying to make things happen and start allowing things to unfold naturally. Consider how effortlessly you fall asleep when you're truly tired. You don't force it, you allow it. This same principle applies to manifestation. The more you try to force it, the more it eludes you. The more you allow, the more naturally it comes. The secret that most miss is this. Your imagination isn't showing you possibilities. It's showing you realities that already exist in consciousness. Your job is simply to occupy the state where your desire exists. Think about how you feel when you remember something that actually happened. There's a certain solidity to it, a realness. Your desired state must feel just as solid, just as real, just as unquestionable. Most never realize that their power lies in their ability to feel the reality of their desire more intensely than they feel current circumstances. When you master this, manifestation becomes automatic. Consider how naturally you accept the changing of seasons. You don't resist it. You don't doubt it. This same natural acceptance must be applied to the unfolding of your desires. Your consciousness is like a signal you're constantly broadcasting to the universe. The clearer the signal, meaning the more stable your state, the faster the manifestation. But clarity comes through relaxation, not effort. I have observed that those who manifest most easily are those who understand that circumstances don't create state. State creates circumstances. They lie from the end, feeling it real now. Think about how you feel when you're absolutely certain about something. You don't try to make it true. You know it's true. This is the feeling state that manifests instantly. Most people approach manifestation like it's something they need to figure out. But I tell you this, it's already figured out. Your only job is to occupy the state where what you desire already exists. Consider how naturally you accept your own existence. You don't question it, you don't doubt it. This same level of unquestionable acceptance must be applied to your desired state. Think about how easily you accept that your reflection in a mirror is yours. There's no doubt, no questioning. This same natural acceptance must be applied to your desires. They are as much yours as your reflection. 
Most people live in a state of constant comparison, always measuring where they are against where they want to be. But this very act of comparison keeps them stuck in the state of wanting. The secret is to live from the state of having. I've watched countless individuals transform their entire lives when they finally understood that their power isn't in changing thinking. Consider how naturally you accept that when you drop something it will fall. You don't doubt gravity. This same unwavering acceptance must be applied to the law of consciousness. It's just as reliable as gravity. The secret that changes everything is this. Your external world has no choice but to reflect your inner state. It's not personal, it's law. Just as a mirror must reflect what stands before it, your world must reflect your consciousness. Think about how you feel when you're completely immersed in doing something you love. Time disappears, worry vanishes, and you're simply being. This pure state of being is where true creative power lies. Most never realize that every moment of discomfort is actually a call to shift states. When you feel dissatisfied, it's not the circumstance that needs to change. It's your state of consciousness. Consider how naturally you accept that tomorrow will come. You don't worry about it. You don't try to make it happen. This same natural confidence must be applied to the unfolding of your desires. Your power to create isn't something you need to acquire. It's something you're using every moment. The question is, are you using it consciously or unconsciously? I have observed that those who manifest most easily are those who understand that their state of consciousness is like a frequency they're broadcasting. The clearer and more consistent the frequency, the faster the manifestation. Think about how you feel when you remember something that actually happened. There's a certainty to it, an unquestionable reality. Your desired state must feel just as certain, just as real. Most people spend their lives trying to manifest from a state of wanting, not realizing that wanting can only create more wanting. The secret is to manifest from a state of having. Consider how naturally you accept the air you breathe. You don't doubt its presence. You don't worry about its availability. This same natural acceptance must be applied to your desires. Think about how effortlessly water finds its level. It doesn't struggle, it doesn't force, it simply flows. Your manifestation should come just as naturally, just as effortlessly when you're in the right state. Most people live in a constant state of mental warfare, fighting against their current reality while trying to create a new one. But this very fight creates resistance. The secret is to relax into your desired state as naturally as you relax into sleep. I've witnessed remarkable transformations when people finally grasp that their only task is to maintain the feeling of their desire fulfilled, not through strain or effort, but through natural, relaxed awareness. Consider how easily you differentiate between hot and cold. You don't think about it, you just know. This same level of immediate, unquestioning knowing must be applied to your desired state. The secret that most never realize is this, your imagination isn't showing you fantasies, it's showing you realities that already exist in consciousness. When you truly grasp this, manifestation becomes instantaneous. Think about how naturally you accept that your heart will keep beating. You don't worry about it, you don't try to control it. This same level of natural trust must be applied to the manifestation of your desires. Most never understand that their power lies not in what they do, but in the state from which they do it. The same action taken from different states produces entirely different results. Consider how easily you recognize your own voice. There's no doubt, no questioning. Your desired state must feel just as familiar, just as undeniably yours. Your external world is nothing but your internal state made visible. But this doesn't mean you need to fight against current circumstances. Simply occupy the state where what you desire already exists. I've observed that those who manifest most easily are those who understand that circumstances are shadows. And you can't fight a shadow. You can only change the object casting it, your state of consciousness. Think about how naturally you accept the ground beneath your feet. You don't question whether it will support you. This same unquestioning trust must be applied to the law of consciousness. Most people approach manifestation like it's a battle to be won. But I tell you this, it is a state to be occupied. When you occupy the right state, everything else adjusts automatically. Consider how easily you know whether you're happy or sad. You don't need to think about it. 
you just know. This same immediate knowing must be applied to your desired state. Think about how naturally you accept that after every night comes day. This isn't hope or wishful thinking, it's knowing. Your desired state must feel just as certain, just as inevitable. Most people live in constant mental turmoil, always torn between what is and what could be. But this very division keeps them stuck. The secret is to be single-minded in your consciousness of the desired state. I've watched countless lives transform when people finally understand that their power lies not in changing things on the outside, but in changing the state from which they view everything. Consider how easily you know your own name. There's no doubt, no questioning, no need for evidence. Your desired state must feel just as natural, just as undeniably yours. The secret that changes everything is this. Your consciousness is like a radio signal you're constantly broadcasting. The universe has no choice but to respond to your frequency. But most people keep changing stations. Think about how naturally you accept that spring follows winter. You don't worry about it. You don't try to make it happen. This same natural acceptance must be applied to the unfolding of your desires. Most never realize that their power lies in their ability to be still. Not physical stillness, but mental stillness. When your mind is truly still, truly at peace with your desired state, that's when magic happens. Consider how effortlessly you recognize your own reflection. You don't need to convince yourself it's you, you just know. This same level of natural recognition must be applied to your desired state. Your external reality is nothing but your internal state projected outward. But this projection isn't something you need to force. It happens automatically when you maintain the right state. I've observed that those who manifest most easily are those who understand that their job isn't to make things happen, but to occupy the state where things have already happened. If you think about how naturally you accept that water is wet, you don't question it, you don't doubt it. This same unquestioning acceptance must be applied to your desired state. Most people spend their lives trying to bridge the gap between where they are and where they want to be. But I tell you this, there is no gap except in consciousness. Consider how easily you know whether you're awake or asleep. This knowing isn't something you achieve, it's something you experience. Your desired state must be experienced just as naturally. Think about how naturally you accept that your eyes see color. You don't question it, you don't try to make it happen. This same natural acceptance must be applied to your manifestations. Most people live in a state of constant seeking, always looking outside themselves for evidence of their desires. But this very act of seeking implies absence. The secret is to live from the state of fulfillment. I've witnessed the most profound transformations when people finally grasp that their only responsibility is to maintain the feeling tone of their desire fulfilled, not through force, but through relaxed awareness. Consider how effortlessly you know whether you're hungry or full. There's no debate, no questioning. Your desired state must feel just as undeniable, just as real to your consciousness. The secret that most miss is this. Your imagination isn't simply showing you possibilities. It's showing you realities that already exist in consciousness. Your job is to occupy these realities through feeling. Think about how naturally you accept that ice is cold. You don't need proof, you don't question it. This same level of natural knowing must be applied to your desired state. Most never understand that their power lies not in what they do, but in the state from which they do it. The same action taken from different states produces entirely different results. Consider how easily you recognize your favorite song. The moment you hear it, you know it. Your desired state must be just as instantly recognizable to your consciousness. Your consciousness is like the soil in which all seeds of possibility grow. But most people keep digging up their seeds to check if they're growing, not realizing that this very act prevents growth. I've observed that those who manifest most easily are those who understand that circumstances don't create consciousness. Consciousness creates circumstances. Think about how naturally you accept that fire is hot. There's no doubt, no need for proof. Your desired state must feel just as undeniably real. Most people approach manifestation like it's something they need to achieve. But I tell you, this is something you need to allow. It's already done in consciousness. Consider how effortlessly you know whether you're comfortable 
or uncomfortable. This immediate knowing must be applied to your desired state. It's not something you figure out, it's something you feel.